New on AM Extra, a mother from Aloha is being hailed a superhero for helping hundreds of families locally and worldwide. Elizabeth Anderson Sierra just broke the Guinness World Record for the largest donation of breast milk by one person. The total, nearly 1,600 liters. And that super mom joins us on the couch this morning to talk about her record-breaking story. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for being here. You've, you've got your official Guinness World Record certificate. It's mm -hmm. official. Did yeah. Did you, did you ever imagine that you would be a Guinness World Record holder for, for most breast milk donations? No, not at all. <laughs> it, it used to be kind of a running joke, um, but then I went through with it, and here it is. And there you go. Now it's official. Yeah, and uh, you have something called hyperlactation syndrome, correct? Yes. And uh, what is that? How does it affect your daily life normally? Yes. So it is a very rare medical condition, maybe one in a million, um, and what that means is that my body produces a large surplus amount of breast milk. Mm -hmm. um, so over 200 ounces per day on average. And I've been producing for about nine years now. Oh wow. my goodness. And you have three littles at home. I do. So was this something that it started with your first and, it, and you've just noticed like this is like way above average? <laughs> yes, it started in 2014 and I wasn't sure what was going on at first. Mm -hmm. and. My medical team did a lot of testing and to identify and diagnose, and uh, then it was a large learning process from there, um, just learning how to handle and manage this condition. Mm -hmm. Does the condition have any uh, other effects to it, or is it just the, the production of breast milk? There are definitely other effects. Um, my body does whatever it takes to make this amount of breast milk, um, and it's very taxing, uh, and any typical pumping or nursing problems that any mom can experience. Mm -hmm. My body also experiences those, but it's elevated, it's heightened. It could mm -hmm. be an, a medical emergency much quicker. Mm. Oh my goodness. So uh, tell us a little bit about how you've been able to, you know, make this work in your daily life. You're a mom of three, you're busy. Uh, how has this all been, has it been manageable for you? At first it wasn't, it took up a lot of my time and I was using like a, a big bulky uh, breast pump that I had to plug into the wall. Uh -huh. um, really what's made the most difference in my life is this little guy right here. Uh -huh. um, I mean, it's smaller than my cell phone and this is compatible with any components that I need to use, including like cups. And so I can just, I could be pumping right now and you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know. Yeah. Um, so this, this little guy has, has allowed me to live my life and I can go to the park, I can go to the zoo, oh I can go gosh. to OMSI, I can, I can do anything. And what's, the, and what's the name of this pump? It's this is the Baby Buddha pump. Baby Buddha pump. I've, I've noticed, I've seen uh, breast pumps getting so much more, you know, able to be taken on the go, uh, yes. a little more just uh, friendly with day-to-day -day activities. How has that made an impact for you? A huge impact. I was actually comparing um, the beginning of my journey earlier uh, to now, and I, I look back and I'm so sad for her, um, but I'm so excited for me now and mm -hmm. being able to take back my life, take back my freedom, and there's no limitations. I've been able to do everything, pump at Disneyland, um, go to concerts, um, yeah. No limitations. So how did you uh, get connected with the Guinness people? Did you seek them out because you knew you had this this uh, condition or did they find you? How, how did that work out, the Guinness world record thing? So they reached out a while back um, because they had heard about my milk donations mm -hmm. and in the media at that time, the amount was above the current record. Um, but I declined, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> it's such a public yeah. um, spotlight. Uh, but I think that in, you know, with the formula shortage, um, I thought I could make a difference yeah. by sharing the message and normalizing milk sharing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping that by sharing my story, by breaking this record, it kind of encourages others to look into donor milk. Right. And if you have a surplus to share, if you can. What an awesome thing to do with that spotlight. I was going to say, we, we were showing some pictures there while you were talking about all of the milk that has been donated that can be frozen for other infants to, to be able to use. Um, what do you want people to know about milk donation if it's not something that people have heard about before? That it is safe. Uh, get to know your donor, ask questions, get blood testing done. Mm -hmm. um, but there are also milk banks available. 
Um, so if you have a local milk bank, we do have one here. Mm -hmm. uh, you could reach out and uh, see if that is an option for you. Yeah. All right. Very good. Interesting story. No doubt about it. Uh, Elizabeth Anderson Sierra, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, congratulations on the world record, too. Thank you. <laughs> and to learn more about the uh, pumping equipment we talked about that Elizabeth used to break the record, just head to babybuddhaproducts.com. Yeah, finding a local milk bank in your area, too. If you know someone who's struggling, uh, they really do make a huge difference for a lot of local families.